Hey guys, Happy New Year's to everybody. I wanted to put a compilation of videos together from my 2023 and relive some of those moments and fill you guys in if you missed any of them. I'm going to start out with a thumbnail of the video and then I'll play the clips from the video and then you'll see a thumbnail for the next clips. So if you guys missed a video or it looks really interesting to you, then you'll be able to go back and find it. Uh, thank you for all the support in 2023. Uh, I appreciate you guys being there with me, and I can't wait for another big, big year on YouTube. So thank you guys so much, and let's jump into it. All right, guys, I don't know if y'all knew my New Year's resolution was have the Camaro back on the road by February. All right, cut your wheel to the left a little bit. All right, hold it right there. 64 Chevy, long bed, step side. Pretty complete truck too. Hey guys, I am over with Russell at Bob's place. We're gonna load up some calves real fast to go off to the cell barn. Uh, probably eight month old or so. Have you got time to come back over to my house? Uh, it'd be like this thing. Uh, Four dark. Okay. Uh, I just, I just have to call and tell you. Have to look at it. Uh, Forster, Arkansas was a sawmill town started in the 1930s. Uh, I believe in the 1940s it was the biggest sawmill in all of Arkansas. And by about 1953, they closed it down and left this place completely vacant. All right, guys, this here is the log pond at Forrester. And what would happen is they would bring the logs in on train. They would unload them just here beside the pond, roll them into the pond, and then they would float them over to the mill that's just right over here around the corner. Right now, you can see there's some giant concrete structures and this is where all the, the mill and everything was set up. And uh, how it all worked is beyond me, but let's go climb through there and see what's going on. You can see a lot of pocket holes and stuff, you know? I like to think that a log went in here. I don't really know. All right, so near my area, there's a beautiful corner and you kind of round over this creek. Up on the mountain above it, there's a cross. There's a cross. It's never the same as the actual video, but it's somewhere right in there. Unfortunately, a storm has taken it down, and uh, I drove by the other day, and I was really sad that the cross wasn't there. So, so today's the day that we stand it back up. We are going to climb up there, see what's broken, go back to town, source the materials, and then we're gonna go back up there and stand that cross back up once and for all. What?
that's my new shop uh cord gave it to me thank you buddy um jimmy is here and russell is on his way russell brought his ton truck and a gooseneck and a tractor and uh, he's bringing another trailer right now to haul the tin here we go start tearing it down Well, this is my third attempt, but I finally made it to the plane crash that happened on Rich Mountain in Arkansas. And I've tried to make it up here a couple times before, but I couldn't find it. And today, me and Lindsay made the journey up here and made it to the plane crash. So this plane actually crashed here in 1973. Um, there was a really bad storm. The plane was on its way to Texarkana, got off track, got up here in the mountains. And uh, well, you heard what happened. So. I'm gonna show you guys some of the wreckage while we're here and look around and very respectfully, but uh, show you guys kind of what happened up here on the mountain that night. V's working. This fella's working. All the red trees are coming down. In this video, we take Lindsay's 65 C10 700 mile round trip to Texas and had an absolute blast at the car show. But before we get into that, I wanted to tell you guys that I'm gonna start a membership program on my channel. That means beside the subscribe button, you'll see a button that says join and you can click that button and become a financial supporter of my channel. For the whole month of June, I'm gonna use copyrighted music for the whole month, which means I'm gonna not get any ad spend for the whole month because honestly, I'm tired of the royalty free stuff and I'm ready to just play some good music in my videos. So for all of you guys that are watching my videos, enjoy the copyrighted material. And if you want to financially support me, hit the join button below and let's go to Texas. We are in Texas at the truck show and we're gonna bring y'all along for some of that. Well, I got my first truck when I was three. Drove a hundred thousand miles on my knees. Hauled marbles and rocks and thought twice before. I hauled a Barbie doll bed for the girl next door. She tried to pay me with a kiss and I began to understand. There's something women like about a pickup man. When I turned 
16, I saved a few hundred bucks. My first car was a pickup truck. I was cruising the town, and the first girl I see was Bobby Jo Gentry, the homecoming queen. She flagged me down and climbed up in the cab and said, Holy moly. Pooch. There he is. <laughs> That's cool. Our buddy Pooch came out to the show to see us. Well, you're probably 30 minutes south of here. So. Uh, yeah, about 30, yeah. 35 minutes. So he said he was going to come out. Unfortunately, the lady couldn't come with him, but thank I you, wish Pooch. You thank I you wish for coming you out. But I had to come see Lindsay and Drew and see Lindsay Bell because uh, that's what drew me out here. That's I love right. C10s, but these folks were out here. Got to come see them. Heck yeah. And support. His channel's called Full Blown Country. If you guys want to go check him out, everybody needs a friend named Pooch. Thank you to Russell for always coming through and hel helping me out. Uh, he's letting me borrow his trailer and my buddy Chewy is gonna pull it for us. And we're going to pick up something big, really, really big. I'm about to spend the most money I've ever spent in my whole life. She thinks my trap is sexy. It's a big job just getting by with nine kids and a wife. But I've been working, man, dang near all my life, and I'll keep on working. As long as my two hands are fit to use. I'll drink my beer in a tavern, sing a little bit of these working man blues. I'll keep my nose on the grindstone, work hard every day. I might get a little tired on the weekend. After I draw my pay, I'll go back working. Before he turned 80 He was sitting out back in a rocker He said, what you been up to lately? I told him chasing a dollar And in between sips of coffee He poured this wisdom out Said, if you want my two cents On making a dollar count Buy dirt Find the one you can't live without Get a ring, let your knee hit the ground Do what you love, but call it work Throw a little money in the plate at church Send your prayers up and your roots down deep Add a few limbs to your family tree And watch their pencil marks in the grass in the yard all grow up. I gotta tell you this story. So I believe I was at work. I got a message from Peter from Old Man King Homestead. And it said, urgent message. It said, hey, Drew. Well, let me read it to you. Okay, it says... Urgent. Hey Drew, your house is listed to be auctioned off for unpaid taxes. Here's the link for the auction listing. Luckily, it wasn't being auctioned off for like 15 more days and I had time to save my house.
Hey guys, so we slept pretty good last night. I didn't ever show you our tent or nothing. Jeff set us up a little canopy and we put our tent inside of it. And there's another tent on the other side but you probably can't see it. Uh, now we're gonna head over to Mama V's. She's got a tree that's threatening her cabin. Here at Possum Run Homestead and trees are about to start hitting the ground, you know what I'm saying? Alright guys, I've been working hard on this drain. I think I've got it perfect. We'll see about that, huh? Well, we're about to stick the tube in there for the last time. I probably will touch up. Next time I come out, I'll start off by touching up this area and just after the water drains through it a couple times, I'm sure it'll want to be changed a little bit, but that's where she comes out. So I just backfilled it with dirt. We're gonna bring in rock put on it. Let's look at how you would turn into the property now that there's nothing in the way. Go Ridge Life. Coming up here. Turn into the property. Boom. There's this driveway dead ahead right between the trees. All right guys, we got something really fun to do tomorrow. We're taking Lindsay's truck and the Volkswagen to a car show. So if y'all give me five more minutes, I'll take y'all to the car show.
All right, guys, here we go. This is my buddy Lane's truck, and I'm so glad he made it. Brought it out to his first show. We'll, we'll go ahead and do our fan favorite first here, and then we're going to save our best of show for the last two. Our fan favorite, this was voted on by just uh, pretty much anyone who walked through and scanned their phone with the QR code. It could have been participants. It could have also been spectators that voted on this. But fan favorite is car number 49, Lindsey Scott. What'd you win? Fan favorite. Nice. Good job, Lindsay. I want to say a special thanks to Mama V from Possum Run Homestead and from Jamie and Kevin from O'Rourke Littlefield. I'll link both their channels below. I appreciate them coming out and supporting us. Um, we got good friends all around us and we're blessed to have them. Can you hear me over the locusts? All right, guys. So we have built one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And these are shelves right here, so we'll build up the Hugo Culture Mound, and then there will be a terrace for each step. Like I said, this one will have one. We couldn't think of a more productive way to get the dirt and improve the land. Today I am over at Ivy's Family Factotum. Yeah, uh, welcome, welcome. He is uh, putting together a little shed. That's the shed room. Lots rolling wheels and shifting gears around that Jersey Turnpike. Barney stopped me with his gun ten minutes after midnight. Said, sir, you broke the limit in this rusty old truck. I don't know about that accent, son. This where did you come from? Where I come from is cornbread and chicken. Where I come from, a lot of front porch picking. Where I come from, trying to make a living and working hard to get to heaven. Where I come, where I come from, is cornbread and chicken. Where I come from, a lot of back porch picking. Where I come from, trying to make a living and working hard to get to heaven. Where I come from, where I come from, yeah, where I come from, a lot of front porch sitting, staring up at heaven. Where I come from. Where I come from, trying to make a living.
it is no coincidence. And everything in a DC life is gonna come full circle. And don't show me no food, don't you worry about nothing. Got to know that Jaja has a plan for you. Look outside your window, see that sun is shining. And inside your heart, you know that love is ever true. So I might never worry, I might never stress. Even when them wicked ones, they steal my happiness. Still I never worry, cause I never forget. Every day I'm living is a day that you're playing. All right, guys. Got her loaded up. One more GM on the back of a Ford. First one with a new paint job. My, my camera's about to die. All right, we came out to Aurora's Little Field, picked up the truck. We're about to head home. It's getting dark on us. Go check out their channel. I got this truck from them like a year ago, and they're just having to put up with it in their yard because I finally came down here to get it. So go tell them that I'm sorry. My name's Drew and I'm addicted to Chevrolet pickups. It's a problem. <laughs> I found myself something at the junkyard. 25 and wasting time. They ain't never been outside of this county line. Hey, I'm gonna be here till I die. I'll meet you on that by and by. Oh yeah, the ugliest one-ton Chevy. Well, we blew out a tire. I don't know how Jimmy kept it out of the wall. We almost hit a guardrail. It was really bad. Thank God we didn't already have the car on top of that trailer. We would have been in bad shape. There's a gas station about half a mile away. We're gonna hike down there and uh, cool off and get a cold drink. He's got a buddy that says he's got a tire uh, just right down the road. So maybe he's gonna bring us a tire and we'll be out of this situation in a pretty good manner. Man, it's always something. I ain't never used All right, we knew that tire wasn't gonna last, didn't we guys? Blowout number two, same tire. Sometimes you just have a hard day. Oh, shut up. Thank God another Chevy has shown up to save the day again. Well, the windshield's missing a little bit. Hood doesn't close. Fender's got a dent. Door's got a dent. Back quarter's got a dent. It's got a badge though. And most of that badge. They cut a hole in the door because they couldn't get any of the doors open. It's just a junker anyway. Guys, I, I didn't pay very much for this car. Probably today costed me more than the car. I need one piece off that Camaro. But the piece itself costs as much as that Camaro. So the right thing to do would be buy the whole Camaro, take the piece off. Sean, my buddy from In The Woods Homestead has been wanting one of these cars. He used to have one and sold it and regretted it since. So my buddy gets a car and I get the piece I need, which is this piece right here. I really need this bumper rubber too, but I guess I'll be a nice guy and leave it for you. Just the facts, y'all. Cause my 
of landscape cloth is put down like I said each one's 13 feet with a foot overlap in the middle and we got it all staked down so it should still be here when we come back and it will be two days before we come back and when we do there should be rock and then we get to put rock down on this worth all that's lost just to see you smile
Here's a rudder too, like right here, but the house will be on that side. We can still work on this a little bit later. But it's not that there's too little rock. It's just a little thick right here. So some of that can get drug out. The house will stop somewhere around this flag right here. So it's all good. Got it packed down pretty good. The best I can anyway. All right, guys, we made it out to Way Out Salvage in Kingston, Arkansas. This guy has so many Volkswagens, it's unbelievable. So this is the style bumper that goes on Lila's car that we're building. And this is the style bumper we want on it. Let's see how much better that looks. But we're looking for some that aren't rusty and all dented up. Here's one, but it's pretty dented up. Where will we ever find another one? This one's in pretty good shape actually, but it's got a lot of rust. No bumper, no bumper, no bumper, no bumper, no bumper, no bumper. Hey, if anybody wants a Volkswagen, I know where they're at. Anthony and Roxanne. <laughs> yeah, at Country Road Cure. <laughs> and buses, and buses, and buses. Ooh. That one didn't stop. Three bed in a crash on the number four. Two witnesses blown up high. Not sure whose will be done. You can call me a sinner for a wondering why. Hey, darling, sleeping on the black top. Hey, darling, running through the trees, honey. Hey, darling, leaving for the next time. Less of my sense catches up with me. Tastes sweeter in this town Could it be it's the same as the last I swear I've seen your face elsewhere before Just as familiar as a bottle and a glass Hey darling, sleeping on the black top Hey darling, running through the trees, honey Hey darling, leaving for the next town Lesson my sense catches up with me Hey darling, sleeping on the black top Hey darling, running through the trees, honey Hey darling, leaving the next town as my sense catches up with me dun, 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 dun. <laughs> right, man. how'd you live without it man uh, man i tell you what i got another one yeah he's got like this, one, this is my new one my other one sucks mm -hmm. and uh this little thing doesn't hold the bits real good, so uh, they come out, and I'm thankful to be getting that back, man. Awesome, Thanks, Drew. I appreciate it, brother. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Man. Hey, Lindsay. Ah. All right, guys, we are here at Tree Haven, and this is the tiny house that he's building. How cool is that? We're going to tour around his property a little bit. I'll show you guys around, but if you really want to see his place, go to Tree Haven's channel, and uh, he's got some great footage. We got a beautiful property out here. They're doing a lot of work, so there's a lot of content coming. Check them out. I'm not buying a car or a truck, but I am going to make my girlfriend cry. This is going to be cool. I'll tell you about this in just a minute. All right guys, so here's the story. Lindsey's dad used to own a canoe company down on the river where he would take people and drop them off with a canoe and then he would drive down there and then load them up and bring them back. That's what his job was. And this is the old trainer that he used. So one day we were hiking down at Lindsey's property and she said, hey, there's my dad's canoe trailer. And I just kind of blew it off because I knew that I wanted to do this, so 
Uh, Russell helped me today. We went and got the trailer. Uh, there's a truck show coming up in about five weeks. So I can only work on it the days that she's going to be at work. Uh, I mean, the days that I'm off and she's at work. Anyways, so we got about probably four or five days to work on this. Hopefully, uh, we can knock it out. I'd like to wire it up, and I would like to put some new tires and rims on it. I just want to make sure the bearings and everything are good. And this is where the rubber meets the road. This is where the cream is going to rise. This is what you really didn't know. This is where the truth don't lie. You'll find out who your friends are. Somebody's going to drop everything. Run out and crank up their car. Hit the gas, get there fast. Never stop to think what's in ever me. Or it's way too far. They just show on up with a big old heart. You find out who your friends are. All right, guys, got the wheels on it. Need to clean the stickers up. Need two lug nuts for that side and a dust cap. This side's all kinds of buttoned up. Now we can move it around if we need to hide it. And uh, next step is getting our new neck welded on. I'm trying to hide y'all from the wind is what I'm trying to do. This canoe is significantly heavier than this canoe, so I'm gonna put the kayak on this side and I'll put the other canoe on that side. Rolling down a backwoods, Tennessee byway. One arm on the wheel. Holding my lover with the other A sweet, soft, southern thrill Worked hard all week, got a little jingle On a Tennessee Saturday night Alright guys, so the next step is in the morning We're just going to start the video off like a normal car show You guys are not going to know what's going on She's going to have no idea. And then uh, I'm going to distract her at the show, and Russell's going to sneak up, hook up the trailer to the back of her truck, and then we get to watch the tears fall. <laughs> White-tailed buck deer, munching on clover. Red-tailed hawk, sitting on a limb. Chubby old groundhog, croaking bullfrog. Free as a feeling in the wind Homegrown country girl Gonna give me a word On a Tennessee Saturday night Lucky as a seven Living in heaven With my Dixieland delight Spend my dollar Park in a holler All right, Lindsay's truck's looking all good. She got her washed up last night. She's just wiping down the interior. That's a picture of her and her dad with the truck. I'm sure y'all have seen it, but just in case you haven't. There she is, a little girl. I'm trying so hard to distract her, but there's nowhere to go. Your brother already knows. Uh, 
There's a story that my daddy tells religiously Like clockwork every time he sees an opening In a conversation About the way things used to be well, I just roll my eyes and make a beeline for the door but I'd always end up starry-eyed, cross-legged on the floor Hanging on to every word Man, the things I heard It was harder times and longer days Five miles of school, uphill both ways We were cane switch raised, a dirt floor poor Of course, that was back before the war Yeah, your uncle and I made quite a pair Flying F-15s through hostile air He went down, but they missed me by hand He'd always stop right there and say, That's something to be proud of. That's a life you can hang your hat on. That's your chin held high as a tear falls down. A gut sucked in, a chest stuck out like a small town flag of flying. Or a newborn baby crying in the arms of the woman that you love. That's something to be proud of. Man, take a look at that. Look at that right there. That's that's Ant in there in the kitchen. Anthony, Country Road Cure. He can make a sandwich right now. Bacon, egg. Is that an everything bagel? That's everything what it is. Mmm. Ant, yeah. you're hired. <laughs> yes. Man, I'm so stoked to get away. Have a little break. Get to do some fishing. For the broken hearted A silent prayer for faithy parted And I ain't gonna be just a face in the crowd You're gonna hear my voice when I shout it out loud It's my Uh, I started a new channel. It's called Drew's Lens Reacts. Basically what I do is I walk blindly into this video and I react to it and uh, film myself so you guys can watch with me. If you want to see me more and you want to hang out with me, every single morning at 8 o'clock on Drew's Lens Reacts, I put up a video and uh, it's been a ton of fun. So I'm going to give you guys about a five video sample. I'm just going to show you some clips from five videos that we've done. Oh, oh! Looks like we're driving on the wrong side of the road. There goes a the trailer. Ooh! <laughs> Keep posing. Don't laugh. Oh! I told you that dude was brave. He took it like a man right there. Hey, he's taking names now, boy! <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, my God. Oh my goodness. Ah, his wheel came off. <laughs> oh my God. See, I told you guys we have been having a lot of fun. Left to do but kneel and pray. We got a church 
They're on the way. I bet Jeff is nervous. I'm definitely nervous. I just wanted to be sitting down over there. All right, Jeff, they're pulling up. What do you think? You excited? Yep. This has been a long time coming. It was one of those, I'll believe it when it happens. Well, it's happening. It's not done yet. They still got to get it back there, but it's about to happen. All right, guys, we're excited, we're anxious. I think I'm more anxious than he is, but um, yeah, let's hope everything goes well. I think I'll take a moment to celebrate my age, the ending of an era and the turning of a page. Now it's time to focus in on where I go from here. Lord, have mercy on my next 30 years. In my next 30 years, I'm going to have some fun. Try to forget about all the crazy things I've done. Maybe now I've conquered all my adolescent fears. I'll do it better in my next 30 years My next 30 years I'm gonna settle all the scores Cry a little less Laugh a little more Find a world of happiness Without the hate and fear Figure out just what I'm doing here In my next 30 years So right now what we're gonna work on is getting this thinned out so he can put his chickens through here. So we're gonna basically hollow out sections for his chicken coops. We're gonna leave the bigger trees and the straighter trees, even if they're a little smaller, but they're growing well, we might leave those. We wanna give him a place to expand his business and uh, grow as many chickens as possible. All right, the main reason I dug these Hugo culture mounds is because we needed the dirt and we didn't wanna pay to have a bunch hauled in but we were able to dual purpose this because we were able to fill these back full of wood, which is gonna hold moisture in these areas right here through the dry summer. And we had three wide right here. This is the widest one. This one's almost full, about 70%. This one still needs a lot of work. And this is the first one that was closed up. I took and pulled all the dirt back over this one. All right, here we have the other three Hugo culture mounds that we have started. This one is pretty full, but still has a lot of cavities like that. We're getting them there. All right, over here on the edge of his property, down the hill, there's a significant hill that water was just running and cutting through. So we built some terraces here and Hugo culture mountains inside the terraces. So this is the first Hugo culture mound. It's pretty much ready to backfill. Then it steps down. This one I haven't dug yet because it gives me a platform to get to load these. And then we have two Hugo culture mounds down here that we have yet to fill. All right, guys, back on site over at Jeff's place. We are gonna get some big, big work done today. 
Um, Jeff has already met with the electric guy this morning and he's basically given us all the plans for setting up the electric and getting it ran. And that's gonna be mission number one today. So you can see there's this place. We're going to put the box on the back side of this side of the house. We're gonna run the electric right here and then cross to there. To the town of our field, old stranger one finally. Hardly spoke folks around him, didn't have too much to say. No one there to ask his business, no one there to make a slip. The stranger there among them had a big iron on his hip. Big iron on his hip. It was early in the morning when he rode into the town. Came riding from the south side, slowly looking all around. He's an outlaw, loose and running, came to whisper from each lip. And he's here to do some business with the big iron on his hip. The big iron on his hip. In this town, and live an outlaw by the name of Texas Red. Many men had tried to take him and left many men were dead. He was vicious and a killer, though a youth of 24. And the notches on his pistol numbered one and nineteen more. One and nineteen more. There was forty feet between them when they stopped to make their play. And the swiftness of the rangers still talked about today. Texas red and not clear and leather for a bullet fairly ripped. And the ranger's aim was deadly with the big iron on his hip. The big iron on his hip. It was over in a moment and the folks had gathered around. There before them lay the body of the outlaw on the ground. Oh, he might have went on living, but he made one fatal slip when he tried to match the stranger with the big iron on his hip. Big iron on his hip. So here's the water line going to his house. It rolls over there and curves in. And then there's an electric line that runs all the way over there beside the shed. And then there's an electric line that runs this way, I showed you. Then I've got the water dug from here all the way to the meter. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much again to you guys for watching my videos and supporting me. And thank you to the members who financially support my channel to uh, give me the ability to play good music and music that I enjoy in my videos. Uh, I'm really excited about 2024. I hope you guys stick around. I can't wait to recap next year and see everything that we get done. So thank you guys again for all the support. I love you and we'll see you in the next video.